buying generations and consumer goals. You know, this is what we're going to be talking about right now in this video training. How you manage the 20 year old young black man who comes from a very wealthy family is very really different from how you manage the 55 year old white or Indian female. This video goes into detail with loads of examples that can help you navigate the different generation types of people that come into your optometric practice. And there's actually about what, six different types of generations that can be split up as follows. Uh, the pre-depression or those who are born before 1930, they tend to have a lot of money, but not all of it is easily disposable. Usually salespeople don't target them for big purchases, but they actually do have that cash to buy the things that they need if they fully understand the beneficial value of what they're buying. The depression or silent generation, this is uh, what, between 1930 and 1945, and they want to be treated with great respect. And so you need to call them by their titles and, and last names. Expect information to be printed clearly for them, but don't think that they don't use the internet. Uh, baby boomers, between 1960, 1946 and 1964, they like quick fixes and want salespeople to get to the point when you're communicating with them and provide them with solutions that will immediately work. They have a lot of experience with regards to various changes that have taken place in their lives over the years and are able to adapt on their own if they see value in what you are proposing. Then you've got the Generation X. They prefer transparency and a direct approach. Don't sales pitch them as they will turn away uh, from that and just be turned off by that type of approach. And they question everything that you will say. And so one of the things about Generation X is that they value social recommendation and support from their peers. Uh, the millennials, right? They are, what, 1977, uh, coming this way uh, to like 93 or so. They are image driven and they want things to be customized to their individual needs. They have grown up with the internet and are in a position to, to expect more efficiency from salespeople within an optometric practice. Uh, Generation Z, they have never lived a day without the internet and have access to financial services, which means they can independently make decisions for themselves or access things for themselves without any assistance from anyone. And so uh, they influence greatly by whatever trend is at at the particular given point of time. And so each generation buys differently though from the previous generation. And let's look at that. In each generation, obviously, there are patients, customers, and clients. You have to keep in mind of the above when interacting with the respective consumer. Let's look at the patient in different components of those buying generation. A, pa a patient who is a, a baby boomer, for example, they might have a long-standing visual problem. They have their minds made up on what their problem is and uh, what solution should go with that. They come to your practice because they believe you can solve it for them. And or they have been referred by someone to your particular practice. That's a baby boomer. And so uh, if you look at, for example, uh, a si the silent generation, you know, the depression, they've got long-standing visual problems, probably have already had surgery done before. They're, they have a script uh, that they receive from the eye specialist. The, the generation X, these are your presbyopic patients. Uh, they need convincing on what their management solutions will be. They're very reluctant to spend money on what they need. But if they fully agree with the diagnosis, they will spend whatever money is necessary to get that which they need to solve the problem that they have. Millennials, on the other hand, this is the patient. Remember, the patient is that person that comes to the practice for the very first time with a visual problem. They've never worn glasses before. And so this is, these examples that I'm giving are specific to the patient. So a, a, a millennial who is a patient, they want to be treated special and prioritize them, you know, and they're willing to go with whatever you recommend is the solution if they know someone else who has been assisted, who had a similar problem to them and that, that solution that you are recommending for them now work for that particular individual. And so if they know of someone like that, they will most likely go with whatever that you are recommending. Generation Z, the solution must go hand to hand with the latest trend that is in the market at that particular point in time. So it doesn't really matter what their problem is if it does not fit into what they feel is important to them. So that's the patient. Let's look at the customer and just some examples of the customer. Uh, 
the depression, they know exactly what they need and don't want you to sell them what they don't need. What we say here, the upgrade potential is very low on land styles and materials. But if you can upgrade them on better quality frames, you stand a better chance in upgrading them on that front. This is the customer. They've already been wearing glasses for years, right? The baby boomer, we say here, upgrade potential on lens wear as a whole is very high. Remember, they've gone through various changes. And so they will spend money if they know that the value and the benefit of what they're getting is very clear to them and they understand and it fits into that which they need. So you have to communicate value more than anything else with that customer who is a baby boomer. Whereas the millennials, they want advanced management solutions. If possible, uh, they can be introduced to multiple management solutions. They're willing to spend money if the experience that they got was to their satisfactory levels. That's the millennial. Um, you know, so it's very, very important that you understand that a Generation Z who is a customer, they want solutions that are up to date with the latest trends, as we mentioned before. So it's the same trend that we will pick up with regards to Generation Z. They will walk into your practice already knowing what they want. And it is about how the solution makes them feel about themselves rather than what the solution is actually is. So always understand that difference with regards to the customer. The client, on the other hand, the baby boomer go the extra mile for them to get the solution that they need. The generation X always be genuine with them, no matter how difficult it is. Never wait for them to contact you. Make the first move. Whereas the millennial roll up the VIP treatment for them at all costs. Make them feel special at all times. And the, the Generation Z client, know their needs and be willing to do whatever it takes to ensure that you're catering for those needs. It might take them longer to build loyalty with the practice. But once they have established that I can trust this practice, I like this practice, I feel connected to this brand, they will always come to your practice and spend money there. And so that's basically the difference between the different buying generations. Understand that uh, Dada Chawalala, who is a baby boomer, is different from Tabo, who is a millennial, is different from Mariki, who is a Generation Z, is different from a Menir Breitenbach, who is, a, who is from the silent generation. And so constantly understand the different buying generations taking into consideration the characteristics, the nine characteristics that define the patient, the customer, and the client. And then you say, okay, I've got the patient here. And as a team, what you need to be doing is making various examples with regards, okay, for a patient who is in this generation type, uh, in this generation type, in this generation type, what are the qualities and characteristics that depict this particular individual. Then you do the same with the patient, you do the same with the client. And that's what you work on. And then ask yourself as a practice, a high earning individual that comes in who falls into any of these categories, what products do we have for them when they are male or when they are female? What color schemes do people in this group look for? What Trends do high incoming earners in this generation type look for or demand or expect from uh, optometric practice. And so that's how you go about putting this information into context pertaining to your optometric practice and do multiple examples. Even if you're choosing one generation a week with the example of a patient, next week, example with a customer, the following week, example of a client then you rotate it again you take another generation and you focus on you know so that you don't bombard yourself with a lot of information you take it one consumer at a time at that week the focus is hey let's look out for this particular individual what do we need to approach this individual in? when you master that then you move on to the next example then you move on to the next example once you've gone through the whole process again then start again start again start again the more you do it the regularly you do it the easier it becomes for you to identify these different types of individuals and so basically that's the consumer goals and uh, buying generation discussion that we wanted you to be well informed about